Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Before we take on Atlantica today, we're gonna go way back to the Olympus Coliseum because we have the key to rewards, and I want to open the room of rewards here. We'll get a pretty decent prize. Alright, looking at the map. We, are, we get in, we get out. Here we are. We need a zero red card. Sleeping Darkness will work, followed by the key of rewards. And what lucky for prize will we find in here? We will find the Metal Chocobo Keyblade! Like the Lionheart Keyblade, that's a really powerful one. Unfortunately, also very expensive to equip. But I'm glad we got it. Uh, I'm not gonna open that barrel. There's a decent chance that's a barrel spider inside. Alright, that's enough of that. We're going up to the ninth floor. And before I enter, we gotta do something about our decks, methinks. So, this should be a pretty decent deck, the one we have here for Atlantica, because here's the thing, in Atlantica, pretty much everybody's immune to lightning, but not Blizzard, so that'll be nice. Alright, we also have a lot of CP we can work with. That works. To the next world! Yeah, we're going to Atlantica next. Because Neverland, the enemies in there are not terribly annoying. Whereas Atlantica, pretty much everybody gets healed by lightning. And Fundiga is really good. So if we have a large world where everybody is is weak to lightning, that'll be nice. Plus Atlantica is super annoying, so... Oh boy. Gorsh, this looks like the bottom of the sea. It sure does, so how come we can breathe? Hmm, beats me. Maybe someone cast a spell on us. It's just like breathing air. But it's not air. See? Someone's swimming this way. If anyone asks, you didn't see me. What? Sorry, I don't have time to explain. Just promise you won't tell. Hey, what's that sparkling feeny you got there? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Remember, you didn't see me. She was hiding something. I wonder what it was. What tipped you off, Sora? Key of Beginnings. Uh, get, get ready to listen to Under the Sea for a while. Or at least I will. I will say, as bad as the Atlantica is... Atlantica's at its best in Chain of Memories. So these are Screwdrivers. These are some of the enemies that are immune to lightning attacks. It is annoying that pretty much every enemy in this is an aerial enemy, though. Get it? That's an Aqua Tank! Oh, sweet. We hit it four times with a Blizzard Raid, and it still didn't even uh, die from it. Ah, oh, God bless Blizzard Raid. Although, admittedly, it's not the amazing card, it, or the amazing slate it was earlier on in the game. Almighty Darkness, who wants that? Ooh, learn a new slate, please. Ars Arcanum, yes! Rain a flurry of blows upon the enemy. Requires free attack cards whose total value is 1 to 6. Sounds terrible, but it is the longest, most powerful physical uh, combo slate in the entire game. And if we use the Jafar card, people won't be able to break it. <laughs> Search ghosts are back, but they're not too annoying. At least not compared to the other enemies in this world. And those are Sceneons. They basically replace shadows in this world. They're a bit more annoying to deal with, though. Alright, with the Blue Rhapsody card, let's see if things work a little better. Okay, yeah, now I can kill Dark Balls in just two hits of... Blizzard Raid. So that really makes a difference. I just now have to pick up experience by myself. Oh, I don't want the premium card. Actually, we don't. Premium cards are not very good. Oh, of course. We get the Dark Ball enemy card. One of the most common enemy cards in the entire game. And it sucks! Like, it massively, utterly sucks. Like, easily the worst enemy card in the entire game. 
Dark Ball, hide the cards you hold from hostile eyes. It does absolutely nothing. It is only useful if you play the linked two-player mode, which I never have, and nobody uses this. And even then, it's still not very good. But boy, does the game like handing those Dark Ball cards out every playthrough. Like, I swear there are weights on each of the enemy cards to see how often you get them, and Dark Balls are really high up. Atlantica's pretty massive, unfortunately. Alright, let's start with a Calm Bounty. We got the spirit, you've got to hear it, I'm tired of see. We learned Shock Impact. Nice. That's a slate. I'll get more into that later. Mobile room, why not? I just realized. If I'm not going to be using the bouncy wild card, I'll just remove it. Here's a card pack, Koopo. Pumpkinhead, Kingdom Key, Olympia, Free Wishes, Free Wishes. Actually, pretty good. I like that. Let's buy another attack pack. Alright, Wishing Star, Free Wishes, Free Wishes, Wishing Star, Pumpkinhead. Alright. Nothing relating to the new Keyblade, but that's okay. Which one is this? That's the Key of Truth. I'm gonna head downwards, I think. One or higher. Let's use a sleeping darkness. Oh my gosh, yeah, Blizzard Raid plus Blue Rhapsody card equals a lot of damage. Being able to kill Dark Balls that quickly is really nice. I was about to be like, is that was that the only enemy in the entire room? Sleeping Darkness is are the the rooms that create the fewest enemies while still creating enemies. The nice thing is, the Blue Rhapsody card lasts for an entire reload. So it doesn't actually wear off until I- Ooh, yes! It doesn't wear off until I actually reload my deck, which is pretty cool. Alright, so that's the room where we exit the world from. We got the Key of Rewards. So I want to hurry up and find that room as soon as possible. I'll use a Guarded Trove, because if you always want to use two treasure chests once you reach this point of the game. Alright, Tranquil, Tranquil Darkness, maybe? Nah. Let's use the Lasting Days. Here we go, we need a level 2 blue. Gotta go to use the Moogle Room, and Key of Rewards. Once you get the first Key of Rewards card, you get, um... You get more pretty quickly. And we learned the Quake uh, Slate. Which you think might be nice, but is actually... Actually, we'll take a look at these slates that I've earned. Santa Suksum, yeah, we've seen that. Arthur Canum, we've seen that. Yep. Oh, Reflect Raid. This is a new one. Hurl the Keyblade and make it ricochet around to strike many enemies. Cloud, any attack card, any attack card. Shock Impact. So Simba's Roar sends enemies flying and triggers stop. Simba, any attack card, any attack card. Quake. Inflicts damage on all ground enemies with a violent tremor. Gravity Simba, any magic card. Orpinator. Yep, we've seen that. Bind. We've seen that. Ferocious Lunge. The oh yeah. That's the beast's uh, slate. Aha! The Crab Claw Keyblade! Yay! That's the Atlantic Keyblade. No, I don't want another premium card. 
I wish I could turn those off. I know what you're thinking, but it's freeing up CP. Yeah, but it's also makes that card worse. Wow, okay. Another key of rewards. Oh, great. It's Free Wish is pre zero premium card. That's lame. All right. Well, then, <laughs> since we just happened to get another key of rewards, I'm going to grab this false bounty, or the guarded trove treasure chest, then weave. All right, level up. Let's do CP, please. So I can add some new stuff. Oh yeah, the Dragon Maleficent card didn't go over this. It sacrifices reload speed to power up attack cards. So your attack cards will be more powerful, but it also will take longer to reload your deck. And it costs 70 CP, which is a lot. Alright, well, I mean, I got the key of rewards, so I should probably take it out of this world into one of the previous worlds. That makes sense to me. Well, now there's not really any worlds I want to get to in particular, so I guess we'll just go in ascending order. Let's go back to Monstro and get the Room of Rewards here. Why not? All right, a blue card. Any blue card. Oh, let's do a Calm Bounty, I guess. And then the Key to Rewards. Man, the Moogle Points that are dropping are sparse. We learned Aqua Splash. Let's take a look at some of these. Homing Blizzara. Cast a Blizzara spell that seeks out the targeted enemy. Arrow, Blizzard, any magic card. Aqua Splash. Spray melted ice at the enemy over a period of time, inflicting ice damage. Blizzard, fire, and arrow. I believe that basically works like Bambi, but you don't. or not Bambi. Like Dumbo, but you don't actually need Dumbo in your deck to use it. It's okay. Not great. Not as good as a lot of these other uh, slates, slates that I've learned that are incredibly broken. Alright. Well, we're learning these cool slates, but that also means we need to constantly be going back to Atlantica to reopen these rooms, which is less great. I don't want to fight you guys. Ah, the false bounty card. I forgot we got that. That basically makes a room with three treasure chests. Two of them have enemies. One of them has a something else. Well, gee, um, I guess I'll use a Moogle room. Free card pack. Why not? Okay. Let's get a magic pack. Cure Lightning, Cure Blizzard, Simba. Not amazing. Eight or higher, bro. Oh, the C Neon card. That's an interesting one. CP again. I was wondering if I would get that since I'm fighting so many of them. Where is he? See Neon! Randomize the values of cards you use. Yeah, that's that's an interesting one. So if, if you equip a deck with all ones, that could actually be an interesting deck, because one cards are incredibly cheap to equip. And keep in mind, you can get an unlimited supply of these enemy cards, as long as they're from common enemies. Like the boss cards, there's only one of. But you can just keep grinding on these enemies until you get as many of them as you want. I would not personally grind on C Neon cards, because those are not terribly great. They're interesting, though. These guys, you also the Screwdrivers, they also usually drop enemy cards a lot, because, again, the effect their enemy card has is pretty terrible. Is it just me, or is Atlantica being very, very terrible with, like, item drops. I feel like everything has two tiny HP orbs in it. Oh, there we go. We got a stop card. That's decent. Key of Beginnings. Alright, we're gonna use our Almighty Darkness card, because screw those. Key of Beginnings. Oh! 
Oh, war with me. Is something wrong? Everything's wrong. Someone stole the king's magic triton. Atlantica is defenseless. And to top it off, Princess Ariel has disappeared. King Triton's worried sick. He won't leave his chambers. Ariel? She disappeared? Ariel's friend Flounder would know where she is, but now he's gone too. Wait a sec. Didn't we just see Ariel? Yep, but she didn't look real happy to see us. Hey, wasn't she carrying something when we saw her? You don't think that was the trident? You know, maybe it was. But that means Ariel stole it! There must be some explanation. Oh, Ariel, where have you gone off to this time, if anything happens to you? It's all my fault. Sebastian, you are the world's worst guardian. What if she ran away because of my nagging? Kid Triton will banish me forever. He'll pop his shell if we tell him Ariel took the trident. Guess we'll have to get to the bottom of this ourselves. I forgot that Jiminy Cricket's like a much bigger character in this one than he was in the original. Like, he was barely even in the original. Alright, well, key of guidance. Yeah, this version of Atlantica is better than all the other versions of Atlantica because it plays like a normal world. Still not very good, mind you, because the music really gets on your nerves after a while. What? No way. Another key of rewards. That is amazing. Alright. Well, you know what? Guess what we're doing? We're doing a Moogle room for this room. We're gonna enter the Key of Guidance, we're gonna leave use the Key of Rewards, come back, get to the Key of Truth, and then finish Atlantica. Here's a card pack, Koopa. Alrighty. Let's get some free stuff. Because holy cow, yeah, I forgot how frequently they give out Key of Rewards cards. Ooh, a Thunder! Nice! Alright, we need a 9 card. Any 9 card. And I don't think a 0 card would work. Let's use a black room, and then the key of guidance. There she is! This is all my fault. I wish I'd never taken Daddy's trident. I should have known things would turn out this way. She DID steal it! Pipe down! Somebody's coming! No need to worry, child. You did the right thing. Why, I'm sure you'd do anything in the world to help your little friend. Poor Flounder has been swept away to the human world. That's no place for a little fish. Why, if we don't hurry, you might not have a friend to save. No! Besides, you're not giving me the trident, dear. Just letting me borrow it for a bit. You could save Flounder, lend me the trident, and I'll help you. But, Daddy needs the trident to defend Atlantica. I need time to think, Ursula. Well, it's all the same to me. Just remember, your little friend is dodging fish hooks while you twiddle your fins. Well, you can come see me once you've made up your mind. Yeah, that, that's my Flurry voice, I just realized. Flurry and Ursula are the same person. What am I going to do? Don't trust Ursula, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Sora! Why weren't you in Little Mermaid? You could have spared the entire idiot plot. <laughs> How long have you been listening? Oh, long enough. It doesn't matter! Sora's right! Don't trust that sea witch! Ursula's up to no good. It's written all over her face. Yet, yeah, what tipped you off? The fact that she's like... Not even trying to hide the fact that she's evil? <laughs> then we all agree. The problem is, I don't have a clue where Flounder is. Ursula's the only one who can help. What about us? Let's go talk to Ursula. You shouldn't have to do this by yourself. Really? You'll come with me? You bet. I know how it feels to have friends in trouble. Let's get going. Obtain the Key of Truth. And we also get Ariel as a partner. And she is awful. I'm sorry, Ariel, but... 
I don't mince words. You're terrible. She literally spins past enemies. Deals minimal damage. Actually, I just realized we can just finish the world now. Because the key of truth is right here. Oh, hang on a second. Changing my deck. Alright, I can equip more cards. We are. Actually, I'm gonna make a fur deck. Alrighty. So, Ars Arcanum has to be 1 through 6. I think. I'm basically gonna base my deck around Ars Arcanum. Alright, let's see how this goes. We need a 1 card. Preferably a 1 card that I'm not really gonna use for anything else. I guess Feeble Darkness will do. And Key of Truth. Oh, she's not evil or anything. My, so many guests. Have you made up your mind, my dear? I'll do anything for Flounder, but I need proof I can trust you. You said we could save Flounder if I gave you the trident. Well, prove it. But of course, see? Ariel! I knew something was fishy! There you have it. If you want your precious flounder back, give me the trident. You're actually doing it, Ariel? That's great sprite design, by the way. Ha <laughs> ha! Mine at last! Now I'm ruler of all the seas! Let flounder go. But of course, I'm feeling generous. Which reminds me, you always wanted to see other worlds, didn't you? Well, dear, I know just the world to send you to. Unfortunately, this will be a one-way trip. <laughs> the sea and all its stensians shall grovel before me. Fa Thankfully, Ursula was a lot easier in this than she was in the original. First things first, equip the Japan card. Here, Oh yeah, that's our Sarcanum. Oh, dog on it. I forgot about that. Ooh, that'll be useful. Mickey Mouse card. Now we can be be crud out of her with our Sarcanum. Thankfully, the Jafar card just stops her from breaking all of my attack. Oh, yes, please. No, Mickey Mouse cards are great. They make her fall all the way down. <laughs> no, it won't, Ursula. Sit! <laughs> Yes! Another one! Yeah, you'll notice, the attack's late! She can't break it, but it also didn't cost anything to use. Alright, now the Jafar card has worn off, so this could actually be bad. That's nice, Ursula. <laughs> hey, Ariel! No, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, in hindsight, I realize I probably should have brought a healing card of some kind. Goodbye. Alright, I forgot <laughs> that unless she's on the ground, you can't actually use Ars Arcanum. But that's okay, we beat her anyways. And now we can do Ars the card. Oh, sweet. And a level up. Nice. HP. Please don't be mad, Ariel. Ursula tricked me. Flounder, as long as you're safe, nothing else matters. Now all we have to do is return the trident and everything will be okay. But what if the king finds out you're the one who took it in the first place? I'll be grounded for ages. Ariel, Ariel, where are you, girl? If you can hear me, please answer. It's Sebastian! He came all this way just to find me. 
Yep, and when he does, you're gonna get it. Hey, I know! Why don't you just say Ursula stole the trident? And you got it back all by yourself! Then there's no way you'll get in trouble! I just had the same idea. But, I can't do that. I don't want to get in trouble, but I can't lie. Not about this. I know I haven't made the best decisions lately. It was a mistake to take the trident. But I made that mistake because I wanted to help you, Flounder. I'm proud of that. Blaming someone else would mean giving those feelings up. So, I'm going to tell the truth. She's right, Sora! Honesty is the best policy! Hey, I was just kidding! Great, now I'm the one in hot water. Wow, Ariel's a lot more mature in this than she is in The Little Mermaid. We'll say that much. She still handed over the, tr her, the trident to Ursula instead of just letting us beat her up. Where's Riku? I thought he'd be here waiting for us! Guess he finally got fighting out of his system. I sure hope so. Maybe Riku doesn't want to fight with you anymore. Careful! You never know where Riku might be hiding! Now what, Vexen? Looks like your little toy isn't taking orders anymore. Now, Lark scene, shouldn't we give Vexen the benefit of the doubt? Riku could be hiding as part of some elaborate plan to lure Sora deeper into the castle. Oh, of course! Why didn't I see it before? Terribly sorry, Vexy. I guess I'm just used to you and your research being more funny than formidable. Hold your ton! Aw, are you sulking? Haha, <laughs> you are so half-baked. You're hardly one to talk, you conniving little... That will do. Marluxia! Your project has failed, Vexen. Do not disappoint us again. Disappoint you? You presume too much, number 11. I am number 4, and I will not stand for your snide remarks. Yes, you will. This castle and the girl Namine have been entrusted to me. Defy me, and you defy the organization. Unless I'm mistaken, treason is a capital crime. This is absurd! In the name of the organization, I pronounce your project a failure. This lapse must be reported to the superior. No, please don't! I beg of you, leave him out of this! I will, under one condition. What condition? You must eliminate Sora personally. Eliminate him? You refuse? No, I, I mean, but why would you want that? Just do it. He'll really do it, you know. He's got no choice. Neither do we. What to do? Your hero is soon to be wiped from existence. But he made a promise to you, didn't he? Isn't that right, Namine? Yes. The tenth floor already! We've come a long way! And we've lost ten floors worth of memories. Sora, it's not too late. We should turn back. No, I can't do that. That would be breaking my promise. Promise? What promise is that? When we were little, I made a promise to nominate. I told her I'd always keep her safe, no matter what. But I didn't remember until I started forgetting everything else. I can't believe I forgot something that important. But I can still make up for it now. From now on, I'm keeping my promise. Okay, Sora. We understand. Castle Oblivion, 10th floor. If you remember your promise to nominate, then you must still have your important memories. Special promises like yours are meant to be kept. 
Wow, thanks, Donald. That's like the first four in ages that you haven't been angry when I've talked to you. <laughs> all right, that's all the time we have for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Forty. Next time, we're going back to... Let's see, what floor is it? We're going back to Agrabah to get the special key of rewards uh, treasure there. Then we'll be continuing on and taking on Neverland. That should be very exciting. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.